What is a virus? What are bacteria? And how are they different? Let's take a closer look at a bacterium. It's a microscopic living organism that can only be seen with a microscope. Bacteria can have a lot in common with animal and plant cells, although rather than a nucleus, they have DNA strands. Not all bacteria are bad. Our bodies are full of helpful organisms we couldn't live without. Others, however, can be responsible for some rather nasty diseases. Compared to bacteria, viruses can seem strange and alien. They can be up to a thousand times smaller than a bacteria cell, and can only be seen through an electron microscope. A virus is usually made up of only a few different parts. In fact, their structure is so basic that most scientists do not consider them to be alive. Simple or not, they can still pose a threat, causing just as many nasty diseases. So why are bacteria considered to be living and not viruses? Scientists have mostly agreed that certain behaviours must exist for something to be alive. If a virus and bacteria are taken out of a host body, different things happen. Bacteria can multiply and spread, but a virus, with no host cell to infect, will slowly become inactive. It's important to understand the differences, so that we know how they can be treated. A bacterial infection can usually be treated with antibiotic drugs, which attack the bacteria cells and stop them from multiplying. Over time though, bacteria can adapt to resist antibiotics, which is why doctors are careful not to overuse them. Viruses are not affected by antibiotics, so it's down to the body's immune system to fight them off. Antiviral drugs can help to ease symptoms, like a fever, but can't kill the virus. Bacteria and viruses share one thing in common. Prevention is always better than cure. Both can be prevented through personal hygiene, water and food sanitation, and vaccinations. Bacteria and viruses are just two of many types of pathogens. Knowing the enemy is half the battle, which is why scientists work hard to learn about them.